Hey Taurus, it's Goddess Puff and this is your next 48 hours for January 3rd to the 4th of 2022. All right, let's get into it with an oracle card message for Taurus. What is going on with Taurus the next 48 hours? What does Taurus need to know for January 3rd to the 4th of 2022 for Taurus? We have stag premonition. You're going to have, okay, swan fidelity. You got a very serious ass reading. <laughs> okay. Magpie addiction. And moth caution. Okay. What's, oh, yeah. This is going to be a very adult reading. So you've got kind of like, there's a, there's a, you and someone else is, are really addicted to having sex with each other. You're like, y'all just can't stop. That's what I'm getting from this. I'm sorry. <laughs> with stag, swan, magpie addiction, and moth caution, it's like you guys are just having sex a lot. A lot of it. And that's what I'm getting from this. It's just y'all can't leave each other alone. There's you and someone else who just cannot leave each other alone. And you've seen it coming. With stag premonition, you've seen it coming. And you just let it happen. So you don't be mad at me. And then there's an M significant, an M, S, and W, M, S, W. I don't know if that's someone's initials or whatever, but let's get into it. Taurus, next 48 hours for Taurus, January 3rd to the 4th of 2022 for Taurus. Yeah, there's an extreme attraction between you and someone else sexual attraction y'all will not leave each other alone we have seven of pentacles which is a long-term investment this is also earth energy virgo towards capricorn it says navaris um teaches art science and rhetoric restores lost honors and dignities takes honor and dignity from others so give it then take it away but it's telling you to be cautious. Why is that? The sun, which is also, of course, Leo. Boon makes one rich, smart, and well-spoken, gathers spirits at tombs, and changes the places of the dead. So, yeah, it's clear to you who you want to be with, this person. And it's clear to them they want to be with you. Yep, six of wands, victory and success, public acknowledgement, lots of attention, murmur. Teaches philosophy perfectly. Brings souls back from the dead to answer questions. Don't be playing with no Ouija boards. All right. I mean, if you do, take all the precaution. Eight of Cups. Vapar. Guide of the waters. Can make storms and rough seas. Causes men to die in three days of putrid wounds. I got that for cancer. You may want to circle back to the cancer reading. Overall energy is temperance, Sagittarius, Crocel. I, I think that's how you say it. Or Crocel. Teaches geometry and liberal science. Makes great noises in warm waters. In warm waters. Okay. So for some of you on, the, on a mundane level, if you're at a falling out with someone you've been with, like someone you're dating, they'll come back. Just let them go. Don't chase them. Just let them go. They're, they're going to come right back. Stay calm. Because I feel like there was a falling out. Maybe there was too much attention being given or like smothering or they got jealous because you were getting a lot of attention or they felt like you were smothering them. They were smothering you or if someone was getting attention from someone else and someone got jealous, whatever it is, if there's a separation between you and someone else, you're not speaking for a little bit, let don't don't chase them and just focus on your life. They're gonna come literally right back in like six days. Just just let it let it play out. They're not going anywhere. <laughs> All right, um, with the seven of pentacles, the sun card, six of wands, eight of cups. Yeah, it's like someone, some, you both already know that you two are like bound to each other. You both are extremely attracted to each other. It's an addiction. So if someone, eight of cups, tries to walk away, stay calm. They're coming right back. They're just as obsessed as you are. Clarify this for Taurus. 
just laugh when they leave, honestly. I'm just telling you, the amount of obsession I'm feeling from this reading, they're not going anywhere, not for long. They are obsessed. Clarify this. Just as obsessed as you are. You're both obsessed with each other, is what I'm getting from this reading. So stay calm, because I feel like they're going to try to leave. Clarifying the Seven of Pentacles is the Queen of Cups. So you could be dealing with a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Six of Swords. Yep, this this is the person the person you're dealing with is going to try to let this go. They they they're going to try to leave. They want they want to prove that they're not obsessed. Clarifying the Sun card is the Three of Cups, and then <laughs> and yeah, the Magician, Gemini, Virgo. For some of you, they may try to run to a third party, but you would already know, and you're just laughing because you know they're coming right back. Clarifying three of wands because they don't want nothing to do with third party. They want to be with you. Yep, five of swords. They're going to try to go because it's popping over there. Or that person got a lot of money or they're getting a lot of attention or something like that. They're going to try to go run where it's popping at. Yeah, wheel of fortune and karma. And it ain't going to work wherever they're running to because it's either they're getting a lot of attention somewhere or they're giving someone else a lot of attention. They started getting attention from somewhere else and it's gonna bite them in the ass with the Five of Swords because that person ain't shit. Clarifying the Eight of Cups is the Ten of Swords, yeah. And then, here we go, Three of Cups, here they come. They ran away and they're gonna come right back. So someone left you for someone else and that person treated them like shit, abused them. And then they're coming back to you. But you don't want nothing to do with them, Four of Swords. You're staying calm. You're not just going to accept them back into your life. So I feel like you, you'll you let them back in, but not right now. Yeah, because they ran off somewhere else. And they were, yeah, they were manipulated. They were manipulated over there. And they were manipulated to come towards that person. That a person abused them. And now they want you back. They Yeah, they realized they made a mistake. Let me write this down before I forget. They realize. I don't even think I spelled that right. Real. I definitely didn't. Realize. They made a mistake. Yeah, so I know this sounds repetitive, but pretty much. Um, let me name the signs because we have temperance, like I said, Sagittarius. Um, we have the magician, Gemini, Virgo. Uh, the wheel of fortune is Scorpio, Aquarius, uh, Taurus, and Leo. And then the sun card again, which is Leo. It could be any sign though. Um, yeah, you and this person had y'all got this like twin flame, like karmic kind of attraction to each other. I feel like it's a twin flame and karmic. Y'all are extremely obsessed with each other. I mean, let me just show y'all because swan fidelity is like the love of your life. Swans mate, if they find their mate, they mate for life. But we have magpie addiction. And then we have moth caution. This is an extremely attracted like connection. Like a lot of fire, a lot of attraction. But this person to prove that they weren't attracted to you or this person's type of person that hops on the next best thing. You're dealing with someone who hops on the next best thing. I'm just letting you know that. So it's someone who's a hot girl, hot boy. They just hop on the next best thing. If somebody else popping, they're going to go there. And they ran there. And unfortunately, what I'm getting from this is that they got abused. Five of swords, ten of swords. I don't know if it was physical. It could have just been verbal, mental. They got abused. And now they're trying to run back to you. Is what I'm getting. But this person's manipulative and abusive as well. So I'm just saying. But I'm going to leave it there. If this reading really resonated, don't forget to give me a like, comment, subscribe, or share if you're interested in booking a personal reading with me. All of my information is linked below. If you'd like to check out my sister's beautiful crystal jewelry, she has bracelets, rings, necklaces, sun catchers, all that. She does commission work. Her Etsy is linked below. I send you peace, blessings, and love. Namaste.